Hey you guys, thank you for tuning in to yet another video. As you can see, I have finally finished my move. I am so happy to be out of my old place and into this new place. As you can see, it is a lot bigger, it is a lot brighter, um, and I have much more space to do what it is I want to do, which is make videos for you guys, and of course, run my online business. Um, so with that being said, I know a lot of you have been watching my videos for online, for business advice, um, whether it be like e-commerce, a boutique, or hair, or eyelashes, whatever the kind of business that you have. I know a lot of you guys are business owners or looking to become business owners um and so i want to come on here and give some um provide you guys with some more information in regards to any pl a platform that you may not be familiar with um if you haven't watched my last video um it is a um unboxing of some products i bought from my own personal boutique from alibaba.com um and so you guys had a lot of questions pertaining to like how do i use alibaba where can i go to get this and how do i get this what suppliers do i use so i'm going to be making a series of videos kind of breaking down alibaba.com for you guys um with this first one i just wanted to come on here and give you some tips in if you are using alibaba for the first time and how to go about looking for suppliers to help better build your business. Um, again, Alibaba.com is pretty much an online marketplace. If you have not checked it out, I encourage you to definitely do so. To do so, um, They are considered as a B2B, business to business, so they work um, solely with business owners. So when you go on there, you are going to be buying things in bulk, kind of like wholesale. Um, so don't expect to go on there and buy one thing. Um, so you might be able to find some suppliers, but for the majority of the suppliers, um, they are going to be selling things to you in bulk. So again, they are a, are a marketplace where you can pretty much find just about everything that you need. And when I say everything, I mean literally everything. If you want to find shoes, handbags, backpack, purses, um, hair, nails, earrings, jewelry, clothing, anything that you can think of, I'm pretty sure that you will find it on Alibaba.com. So the first tip that I would give if you are new to Alibaba is to definitely have a plan in place in regards to what it is that you're looking for. Because Alibaba is a marketplace and again they sell just about everything, um, you want to know what you're looking for otherwise it can be very overwhelming when you pull up the website because again they have everything on there. So for example, and I'm going to put a little screenshot up here if you're looking for sunglasses you want to specifically put in sunglasses if you're looking for custom boxes put in custom boxes if you're looking for custom poly mailers put in custom poly mailers so what again whatever it is that you're looking for know what it is you're looking for prior to getting on that website that way you can easily type it in because once you type it in it's going to give you a long list of all the suppliers that can offer you the goods and what you're looking for Step number two, after you found out, you know, you know what you want, you're going on there, we're looking for custom poly mailers. That is what I'm looking for. I typed in custom poly mailers and now all these bunch of names and pictures and all this stuff comes up and it's like, whoa, it's overwhelming. What is all this stuff? So that's good. So the thing how I usually filter out Alibaba.com, because again, it's going to bring up everybody that's going to offer you custom polymers. So we want to narrow that down to finding the best supplier. So how I usually do is I'll fit to filter it down based upon price, based upon um, number of buyings, meaning how number of people that have bought from them and reviews. Those are the top three things in which I look for when going to look for a supplier. Again, it's price, it's gonna be the number of buyers and the reviews. Um, so the first thing we're gonna look into is the pricing. You can filter alibaba.com down by the pricing based upon the MOQs. And if you're not familiar with the MOQ, that is the minimum order, minimum order quantity, meaning how much do I have to buy in order for you to sell it to me so most places will say hey you have to buy a minimum of 100 or we have to buy a minimum of 10 again because this is a marketplace and they are a b2b a b2b business to business they are going to sell to you in bulk so certain places will require a minimum spend just kind of like on la fashion or um, fashion go there is a minimum requirement to purchase from them so once you kind of narrow it down um, to see, you know, what your price point is going to be, what your minimum order quantity, and then looking, start looking at how many buyers they have. And you might wonder, like, why do I need to look at the buyers? Um, to me, when I look for people that have bought from them, that makes me show that, the, one, that they're consistent, um, and two, that they are good at responding. Usually, typically, people who have more, more buyers 
are more quicker to respond in my opinion just because they are active they're steady having to create products and stuff for their clients um usually if i don't see that many buyers on there it's remember it's a little sketchy you know some places are new i understand but i personally don't buy unless i see a, a smart, certain amount of buyers and then again the next thing we're going to look at is the reviews now the reviews are very important to me reviews i use reviews on everything whether it be alibaba.com or going to a restaurant going to a nail salon hair salon whatever Whatever the case may be i look at reviews for everything and that's the same case when shopping on alibaba.com you want to look at reviews because reviews when people write reviews they're very honest whether it was good service or bad service they're going to tell you exactly how long it took to ship what the communication was like what the products turned out to be the pricing the whole process they're going to let you know if it was a good good process or if it was a bad and stay away so you definitely want to check out those reviews as well because they're going to let you know what you're going to about to jump into if you were to buy from that supplier. All right, so now that we found a supplier that looks good to us, we, we understand the minimum order quantity, we're okay with the pricing, um, we like the reviews, the pictures look great, everything looks great, and we're ready to move on. The next step you're going to do, step number three, is reach out to the supplier. Now, when you go into Alibaba.com, there is a button in where you can send a message, and pretty much it's just sending like an email through their, on, uh, through their portal to the supplier saying that you are interested, and that is your opportunity to ask questions and reach out to the supplier again to say that you are interested now some people have asked like yo what do i say when you send your message pretty much a quick simple message that i usually send is like hey i am very interested in your products um are these ready to ship if you're going to some with something that does not have to be customized i would ask if they're ready to ship like in my previous video i ordered the um the bags if you haven't watched it definitely check out that i'll put it down below um but pretty much i wanted those bags just as they were I didn't need any customization needed to be done, but I was ready to have those bags sent out. So again, you wanna ask if they're ready to ship. Ready to ship means that they're in their warehouse, all they have to do is go grab them, pack them, and send them out. Now some suppliers, um, they don't have items that are ready to ship, meaning that they have to go and actually manufacture the product, which could further delay your process. So again, that is why that is important to ask if the items are ready to ship if you are not going through the customization process. The thing I like to typically ask after I say, you know, hey, I'm very interested, um, are these items ready to ship? I typically ask if I'm able to see more pictures or if I have any videos of the actual products if they are ready to ship, um, or I start to proceed to ask them what's required of me if I want to do something that needed to be custom. For the most part, um, they'll ask you to send over a logo or they'll ask you what you're looking for. At that point, if you have something like a picture, like a reference picture, um, or if you have like your logo or something, you'll want to upload that and send that over to them. That way they can kind of start working on your idea. In that email, you'll also want to send over um, any other questions that you may have. Now, I have not purchased manufactured clothing from Alibaba. It is something that I'm considering because I've seen others do it. I've kind of brought a couple ebooks and learning the process and I'm very familiar with it now and I think I will attempt to try to get something manufactured um, but if you are looking to get something manufactured you'll definitely want to um, ask the questions what is the sizing like you know what's the inseams such as that because when it comes to clothing you have to make sure the sizing is right um, because sizing in different places are are different. A small here in the U.S. may be different than a small um, in another state or in another country. So at this point, you'll want to ask any questions that come to mind. What's the inseams? Um, if you're buying bundles, what's the hair length? What's the quality? If you're buying clothing, what kind of material is it? Is it cotton or polyester? Um, anything you can think of at this point you'll want to ask those questions so the next step step number four is once you've reached out to your supplier at this point of course you're going to wait for a response and one thing i'll say these suppliers are really good about communication again that's why we'll look at the reviews and stuff, see how the communication is but they're really good um, about communicating with you getting back to you saying hey we're so you know happy you're interested yada 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 at this point you're going to be communicating back and forth with your supplier to achieve what it is that you're trying to get um within this part the next step step number four which i say is one of the most important steps is to negotiate because this is a marketplace to me it's just like any other marketplace that you would go to like an outdoor marketplace this is a time to negotiate because both of you are in the business so you're in the business to purchase and they're in the business to sell so there's always a common ground that you can always come upon a come upon um so then negotiate now of course you don't want to lowball them and you know to say outrageous prices because they might turn away from you be like absolutely not goodbye um but it's 
doesn't hurt to ask for any further discounts. When I ordered my purchase for my previous video, I did go in there and ask, hey, is there any discount that I can get for me buying a certain amount? So some of the suppliers are willing to work out the pricing. Little penny, I don't care if it's five cents, 10 cents, anything that I can save within my business, I am happy. So again, you definitely feel free to ask for any type of discounts because you are purchasing an amount and you never know what they may offer or even throw a price out there and say, hey, are you willing to take the price down to this amount and I'm ready to purchase. So always make it known that you are ready to purchase if you are going to ask for that lower price. That way that kind of throws it in their head. Okay, if I let them have this lower price, we're going to go ahead and just get this sale done. Otherwise, they're going to be looking around trying to find other price. So definitely say, hey, if you're willing to take the price down to this amount, I'm ready to purchase. So my last tip for you is once you've negotiated, you got everything, you've made that purchase, you're waiting for your items, your items come in, is to always follow up with your supplier. Now you may say, why do I need to follow up with my supplier? I got what I needed. I'm done. Like, why would I follow up? It's all about building relationships. So usually what I'll do is after I got my items, I'll take a picture of it and say, hey, I love my items. Thank you so much for working with me. Can't wait to do business with you in the future. Something sweet and simple. It doesn't have to be any long paragraph saying all this stuff. You don't have to do weekly check-ins or anything like that, but definitely just give them a follow up and say, hey, I got my products. They were great. They were amazing. And I can't wait to work with you in the future. Because what that does is that builds relationship with your supplier. So now the next time that you need something they know oh yeah they're legit they're gonna buy let me start working with them and it may even help bring down your costing help make get your items shipped out faster you never know what it may lead to they may be able to manufacture products for you definitely always follow up with your supplier just to let them know that everything is great and you can't wait to work with them in the future so those are just some of the steps in which I want to come and bring to you guys when shopping on Alibaba.com. Those are some of the steps that I go through, some tips that I do when I'm shopping on Alibaba.com. It is not as difficult as it looks. It's actually a very seamless pro process um, and it's great opportunity to get the things that you can't find um, when searching with other supply or other marketplaces. Check out alibaba.com. Um, if you guys have any questions, feel free to drop them down below. So that's going to end this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.